Domain names are important and we trust them. So if you go to a site and it's, you know, uh, new tool.google.com, or let's say that Google announces they have a new product, or Microsoft says we have this fascinating new system, it's called go to system.microsoft.com. Because it's not Microsoft.com, you trust that it's coming from them. You trust that it has something to do with them, that they're responsible for. And people take advantage of that. Let me show you how. This is known as a URL similarity based phishing attack. So phishing and phishing attacks and spam is a pretty big topic and there's lots of aspects of this but let me just uh, set the stage here. So you get an email and that email has been very carefully crafted. It's probably also been sent to millions of people and the email says something like this. It says you know if you don't um, renew, reset your password within 24 hours your Microsoft.com account will be shut down and you will be charged $100 to reopen and there's something like that. I'm sure that you received an email like this before. Um, and what's the goal here? Well the goal is to try to get you to go somewhere and to divulge information that someone can then use uh, against you. Maybe they're going to ask for your credit card number or your password that they can use to access your email or something like this. Okay, so. What's the next step of this, right? Well, they don't want you to reply to the email, you know, because in a lot of cases, maybe the, the sender address has been forged or whatever. What they want you to do is go to a website and enter some information. And they know when you go to that website. So, so anyone can take a website and make it look identical to Microsoft's. That is very, very simple to do. However, they can't purchase Microsoft's domain name. So they can't run their scam on www.microsoft.com. That's not possible. However, they can do something similar. So they can register a domain name that is similar to Microsoft.com. And a frequent way to do that is to register a domain name that starts with Microsoft.com and then goes on and says other things. So somebody discovered this this morning in one of our activity sessions. If you pull up who is and you look up who is Microsoft.com, uh, the results are fairly interesting. Not all of these are safe uh, for me to show on the screen. So here's one example. Microsoft.com.has.abe.present.comingfrom.hughesmissiles.com. Uh, Microsoft.com is a mess. .tim .ua. Um, the, I like also this one. Uh, Microsoft.com.should.giveup because Linux is God.com. So, what are, what are these? Like, wh why are these showing up when I look for Microsoft.com? So, first of all, Microsoft.com has nothing to do with these. Uh, they didn't register them. Um, they're out there in the world, probably, I suspect, most of them, because somebody was trying to scam people into divulging information that had something to do with Microsoft.com. So, if I register this address, and then I send you this spam email, and you click on it, and it takes you to this site, Microsoft.com.whereas.at.topless.gully.com. You look at, if you're not a sophisticated web user, you might look at that address and you might think, you know what, it says Microsoft.com. You know, uh, okay, let me enter all my password and personal information along with my credit card numbers, the answers to 30 uh, different security questions, et cetera, et cetera, right? So, you know, they're, they're, they're trying to get you to trust um, that, that this, is, this is the right site. Now, we have, over the past couple decades, we've made a lot of progress against attacks like this. None of these sites are online anymore. These scams frequently fail. Most of the emails you get like this are full of typos and stuff like that. They just look terrible. Um, and, and so, you know, Use common sense online. Look at the address in the uh, web browser. Look for the fact that the site has is um, HTTPS and that the certificate looks okay. Things like this. I mean, you know, you guys are more sophisticated web users than people of my generation, and we're more sophisticated than people of my parents' generation. So we're making progress here. Um, but but this is something that people used to do in the past. Again, doesn't work quite as well anymore. Um, but you know, keep an eye on that location bar when you're browsing. That's a good source of information, and don't get fooled by Microsoft.com dot uh, more dot details dot at dot beyond who is dot com. Don't get fooled by that. That's not a real URL.